Okay guys, today is October 19th. It is the official release date for Ubuntu 1710 and all of its official flavors. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Ubuntu Mate 1710. So, let's get started. Alright, I've downloaded the ISO for Ubuntu Mate 1710. And I'm going to be installing it inside a virtual machine. It is taking a few seconds to load up here off the ISO. Uh, it'll be much quicker once we actually have Ubuntu Mate installed. All right, and we're here to our familiar Ubuntu installer, the Ubiquity installer. We have the option of trying out Ubuntu Mate, which will be just checking out the live environment, or installing Ubuntu Mate, and that's exactly what I want to do. I'll go ahead and run through the install. And in the Ubiquity installer, you always have the option of downloading updates while you install Ubuntu Mate and installing third party software, you know, like propri proprietary drivers and codecs, things of that nature. Uh, you really want to tick this option because you're, you're not going to uh, in enjoy your Linux experience without some of those proprietary drivers for Wi Fi and uh, codec, uh, codecs for your multimedia players and such. Downloading updates, that's optional. Uh, you tick this on, all it will do is any updates that have happened since this ISO was released will be uh, updated. Or you can do it afterwards. You can just, after you install Ubuntu Mate, run an update on the system after you do the install. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave this one ticked off. All right, guys, it took a minute or two for it to install the third party software. Now we come to the uh, installation type, what we want to do with the disk. So do we need to partition the disk. If you're dual booting, say alongside another operating system like Windows, you would choose the option down here, something else, and you would set up some manual partitioning. You would uh, basically divide the hard drive into partitions, giving Windows you know, a, a slice of the, the drive, giving a Ubuntu Mate a slice of the drive. Me, this is a virtual machine. I'm just going to give Ubuntu Mate uh, the entire hard drive on this virtual machine. So, all right, and then we get this little pop up here warning us it's about to write to the disk. It's going to create an extended four partition on SDA, which is fine. All right, time zone settings. It is correctly chosen central time zone in the US for me. That's correct. Keyboard layout. English US, that is correct. Let me type something just to test it out. All right, so that works. All right, we need to create our user. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for a username, I'm just going to use, you know what, I'm just going to type Mate, a very simple username. I usually like typing the name of the distro in these virtual machines as my username, something I can remember. All right, and that is it. The installer will now uh, proceed. It'll take probably 10 minutes, maybe less for everything to be installed so I'm going to pause the video okay guys the installer has finished uh, that actually was pretty quick uh, that might have taken five minutes I, I know it didn't take ten minutes to run through the install so now we have to reboot the machine to complete the installation I'll be back in a second alright the machine is rebooting let's see how long our Freshly installed Ubuntu Mate 1710 takes the boot up. All right, we got to a login manager very fast. Ubuntu and all its flavors are known for having very fast boot up times. If that matters to you. Okay, this is some kind of error here. VBox client, VirtualBox kernel service is not running, exiting. All right. I, I need to play around in VirtualBox for a second with some of the settings. I may need to install the guest editions to get this to function correctly. So give me just a second. 
Okay, guys, I, I spent a few minutes trying to get the uh, Virtual Box Guest Editions working correctly on Ubuntu Mate. I was able to get rid of some of those error messages, but it still did not correct the maximum screen resolution. So I'm just going to go with it. I don't, I don't want to waste time playing around uh, anymore trying to get the uh, screen resolution any bigger. But for purposes of this video, I, I think we'll be all right with this uh, screen resolution here. So Ubuntu Mate, let's go through some of the default applications. In the menu at the top, you have this traditional menu that's got three categories. Under Applications, we have Accessories, which is our uh, backups, character map, our disk utility, the archive manager for zip and unzip. We have the Mate calculator, the Mate font viewer, the Mate, Mate search tool. We have our menu editor to edit this menu, I'm assuming. Password and keys, Plank, which is a dock program. I'll go ahead and launch it so you can see you can have a dock here at the bottom. You quit that. We have Pluma, Pluma text editor, which I guess is the text editor for the Mate desktop. Looks like your standard text editor. Uh, back to accessories. We have Redshift, a, a screenshot utility, and the Ubuntu Mate guide. Okay, well, this is pretty cool. So, you want to know about Ubuntu Mate? They come with a little user guide. All right, under Applications, Education, LibreOffice Math. Under Graphics, we have Eye of Mate Image Viewer. This is the image viewer for Mate. We have LibreOffice Draw. We have Mate Color Selection. We have the Shotwell Photo Manager. And we have Simple Scan, which is a scanning utility. Under Internet, we have Firefox Web Browser, Thunderbird Mail, and Transmission BitTorrent Client. Office, we have, it looks like, the LibreOffice Suite. We also have the Actual Document Viewer, I guess for viewing PDFs and such. We also have the Mate Dictionary. Sound and video, we have Bracero for disc burning, Cheese, which is a webcam app, Rhythm Box, which is a fantastic uh, audio player. That's part of the GNOME suite of software. Uh, also under sound and video, we have VLC, which is a fantastic multimedia player, great for, uh, for videos. All right, system tools, we have Kaja, which I believe is uh, yeah, this is the file manager for Mate. Uh, I guess it started life as Nautilus when they uh, forked Mate from GNOME 2 many years ago. So it's very similar to Nautilus, or to the old Nautilus, not to the new one now that GNOME just simply calls files. That, that Nautilus is a mess. All right, also under system tools, we have GDB, which is a package installer. We have our log file viewer. We have disk usage analyzer. We have our system monitor, the Mate system monitor, which looks very similar to uh, the system monitor in the uh, standard mainline Ubuntu. Also under system tools, we have our Mate terminal. So just your standard, you know, terminal emulator here. Under places, now this is just uh, your directory structure here, so you know your home, desktop, uh, root, uh, folder, network. So basically, this just launches the the uh, file manager here at various locations inside your directory structure. Under system, you have an administration category for setting up and configuring your network, printers, uh, doing software updates, uh, setting up users and groups. Preferences, you have hardware, you have additional drivers, Bluetooth adapters, we have our uh, display, keyboard, mouse, power management, sound, internet and network, we have, we're able to configure a firewall, uh, network connections, under look and feel, we have appearance, Mate tweak, which is a nifty little way of uh, tweaking the desktop, the themes and icons, the panels, the windows, also under system, we have, and under preferences, we have personal settings, 
We have About Me, we have assistive technologies for those with disabilities, uh, file management, language support, onboard settings. Onboard is the on-screen uh, keyboard. Uh, preferred applications and startup applications for setting up you know applications that need to be started up on launch well when you first boot up Mate so all in all uh, you know for those that like the very traditional GNOME 2 style desktop Mate is a great desktop environment Ubuntu Mate is probably the best implementation of the Mate desktop out there in Linux right now. It is uh, gaining popularity, popularity very fast. The Ubuntu Mate flavor has quickly become maybe the go-to uh, spin of Ubuntu other than mainline Ubuntu. Ubuntu Mate really uh, gets a lot of good press, a lot of good reviews. Uh, the install is very very fast. The desktop your grandmother could run the Mate uh, desktop environment here. Very simple, very intuitive. So all in all, uh, thumbs up to the Ubuntu Mate team. Uh, they just keep hitting home runs. Peace, guys.